What's up guys, it's the old ninja one, Aviators and a superhero, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Now guys, today is going to be an interesting topic and a lot of people are probably going to want to argue this with me, but I know I'm right. So uh, let's get into why gun and knife defense actually works. Now there's this stigma in the world that I've seen in online interactions and conversations I've had with people in person. And that stigma is that gun and knife defense that martial artists train for years are actually pretty useless in the actual situation. Basically people think that because, you know, knives and guns are dangerous and give an inherent advantage, having no weapon and learning a defense for that weapon is useless. And Here's why that is completely wrong. <laughs> now I want you to ask yourself, what is the goal when defending yourself from a knife? Most people would say to not get cut. And you know, that's a valid, that's a valid answer, but it is an incorrect answer. The goal you should have when defending yourself from a knife is not to not get cut. It's to not die. Well, at least it's not raining. Because that's the target. When you're dealing with knives, even when you're just dealing with knives, you know, by yourself, you can get cut. That is a possibility. That is always going to be a possibility, whether someone's attacking you or you're throwing it around like I do or just, you know, using scissors too wildly. You can cut yourself. It happens. And so when you rearrange your goals to be not dying to your attacker, if you're being attacked by someone with a knife, then you have to realize a certain things. Yes, you might get hurt. Yes, you might get cut. Yes, it won't be fun, but that's not what's important. What's important is surviving. What's important is making it through the attack to live for the next day. Now, obviously, nothing is a guarantee. There's always opportunities for you to mess up, and anyone that isn't trained in knife defense and hasn't spent time practicing and practicing it isn't going to necessarily pick up you know knife defense in one or two self-defense classes that you you know went to and signed up for for a week but for someone that spends a significant amount of time training they know how to do disarms they know how to move their body in ways that makes them extremely less likely to cut and the more time they put into this training the more likely they are to be able to pull this stuff off effectively against whoever is attacking them this means that anyone with knife defense training has a more likely chance of surviving and of winning that fight than anyone without knife, de knife defense training, obviously. And the more time you spend training with that advantage, the less big of a gap that advantage is for you. Now I'm going to touch on gun defense, and this is a slightly more controversial topic over knife defense. Now obviously there's an inherent danger when someone pulls a gun on you, um, being shot depending on where you get shot, can be an instant loss, an instant KO. He's got a space alien. And again, um, it is very, very dangerous and very, very tricky. There are a lot of aspects that couldn't go wrong. There's a lot of uh, points where defending yourself from a gun can just not go out in your favor. But it's still beneficial to know gun defense because, again, it's one of those things where knowing it automatically makes you more ready and more likely to survive over not knowing it. Obviously, if someone, you know, has a 30-foot distance on you with, with a rifle and just blows you, that's not gun defense. But if you're taken hostage or if someone tries to mug you and gets up close with a gun in your face, there are things you can do that make you more likely to survive. There are things that you can do that will allow you to take control of the situation. Obviously, it's a fight. It's it's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed in life. It's, it's just not going to work like that. However, knowing what to do and having the training, just like I was talking before, having the training and spending time and learning those things can allow you to do self-defense and um, protection moves that will keep you relatively safe and could allow you to take the gun from your opponent. Now, after saying all this, does that mean knife and gun defense is easy? <laughs> Absolutely not. It is by no means easy. But ask yourself, if someone pulls a gun on you tonight or tomorrow or next week or next month or next year or whenever, if that ever happens to you, would you rather want to know what you're doing and have a chance? Or would you rather have nothing to 
you know, defend yourself with, have nothing to actually um, help your situation with? For me, that's an easy answer, but for you, you know, you gotta answer that question yourself. I can't help you with that. Now, for those of you wanting to learn self-defense for knife and gun defense, there are tutorials out there online. I've had some tutorials on how to defend yourself from knives. Uh, I've had, I've know YouTubers who've done tutorials that are very good on defending yourself from guns and knives and stuff like that. But with these things in particular, it's very important that you learn in person. If you can, find a school somewhere, find an instructor, um, go join the police force and they'll teach you uh, because it is important to learn physically what you're doing having that partner there that can stab a fake knife at you or hold a gun at your face not real obviously but hold a fake gun a training gun at your face and allow you to practice those defense and allow you to practice those defenses and practice those blocks and stuff like that because what will protect you will be your reactions your natural instincts and in order to get your instincts to what they're supposed to be, get them fast and get them to do what you want them to do, that takes training and that takes in-person training. Uh, and so if that's at all possible and if this is something you wanna do, definitely, definitely go for the in-person training because you will become much better for it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you think I'm correct, let me know. Let's have a conversation. But if you think I'm wrong, guys, please, if you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I want to have this conversation with you guys. Let's let's talk a little bit. We don't need, you know, we don't need to argue. We don't need to, to fight. But let's talk about it a little bit. So if that interests you, definitely comment down below. If you liked or disliked this video, leave a thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you hated it, leave a thumbs down if you loved it leave a thumbs up let me know what you think about this video uh and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button because you know that's how youtube works so with all that said thank you guys for watching this video my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out